Top of the morning to you, everyone. This is your host, NH Lapdoni, aka the real Stevie B, and TGIF. It is what's today's date again? It's February. Let's see, 19th. Oh, it's February 20th. Yeah, February 20th. We're already going through the year really quickly. Almost done with the second month already. But it's February 20th, 2016, and I am here in humble Texas. I guess it can call it a little part of Houston, Texas. But I am here in Humboldt, Texas. H-U-M-B-L-E. Not Humboldt. H-U-M-B-O-L-D-T. Um, and observing an underbelly of religious uh, belief, the body of Christ, in their general meeting. I guess you could say it's a national meeting. And here we go. I'm over here trying to do this video. And a plane decides to fly overhead. Tough, huh? Anyway. Let it pass a little bit before I get into get in too deep. But anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm here observing the body of Christ and so on and so forth. But that doesn't have to do with this video. I'm just giving y'all information as far as where I'm at. But as far as with this video, I really wanted to talk about something that popped into my head while I was on my way over here this morning from the hotel. And what came into my head on my way over here was our egregious uses over generalizations. And then in that same breath, knock someone else for using over generalizations. Stereotypes are over generalizations. For example, we could say that all cops are bad based off the actions of quite a few because they want to say not a lot no that's there's too, way too many cases to say not a lot i'm not going to say it's the majority but there's a lot of cases of foul cops whether they're killing people innocent unarmed or armed whether they just are uh, involved in drugs narcotics or extortion i mean there's a lot of bad apples out there we're not we're not going to discount that but to say because of those not i can't even say few but those numbers because of those numbers Many of us will say that it's all. And quite frankly, it really isn't. It's not all. But then let's talk about all politicians. Growing up, my dad used to say, you can't be a politician and be a Christian. All politicians are liars. Granted, the ones that you see that are promoted in pushed and have so much media frenzy uh, hubbaloo ab around them time and time again they're pr they've been proven to be liars they don't stick to their word they forget within the next day within the next month within the next year what it was they were standing on previously what they were saying previously and then they'll come with an excuse like well based upon new information that i did not have at the time xyz so you can't say that all politicians are liars. I mean, a good number of them are, just like a good number of cops are bad cops. But not all politicians are liars. Not all cops are bad cops. Not all white people are racist. No, not all. They may benefit, all of them may benefit from the institutional racism that is in place, but not all of them are racist. Now, I'm not saying that to give them a pass. I'm just saying to keep things in perspective. Yes, they were born white. It's not like they say, hey, I w went to God. Hey, I want to be born white so I can continue to ruin these other people's lives. No, nah. so I can continue to have the best quality of life of all the races on the planet. No, that is not the case. Racism, institutional racism, whatever. All of those things are learned activities. They are learned. They are taught. They are not born naturally with it. Someone has this great idea that, hey, we can be, make ourselves better than them, spreads that message, it grows feet, and there you go. You have institutional racism. So to say that all Caucasians are racist is malarkey. It's like saying that all black folks play basketball, play football, 
eat fried chicken, love watermelon, drink grape juice. I do a few of those things, not all of those things. Not because I was raised to believe those, those things were great or anything, just because out of my own personal experience and trying it out, I was like, well, ooh, fried chicken actually does taste good. Yummy. I don't like grape juice, but I love watermelon. Yummy. So, gross overgeneralizations lead us to believe nine times out of ten the wrong in people instead of judging, instead of basing your assumptions on an individual case by case basis. Now, I'm not saying that they do that with us. I'm not saying that they do. I'm just saying that we're all wrong because we all do it. We all use gross overgeneralizations, oversimplifications to make a complex situation or problem as easy as possible to wrap our simple minds around because we only use up to 10% of our brain. Trying to differentiate between a goodie and a baddie based on an individual history takes too much work. So let's just box everybody into one thing. That's basically what that is. That's what we do. For example, my wife. She told me she don't like Bob Marley. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, what the hell? Right. She don't like Bob Marley. Now, you can ask anybody, hands down, from here in Texas, around the United States and around the globe, was Bob Marley an evil person? Character-wise, was he an evil person? No. He sung, he taught, he preached about love, harmony, unity, peace, love. I mean, peace and love, how can you be mad at that? How, how is that wrong? How can you be against that? But no, she, she didn't listen to his music. She didn't know him. She didn't know of his character. The reason why she didn't like him, because he had dreads. Gross over simplifications. Stere stereotype stereotypes. That is a big problem that we have to deal with. We have to stop doing that. But until we get to the point where we can start to stop doing that, it's just going to continue, and we're going to continue to hurt more and more people across the board, regardless of color, regardless of creed, regardless of race, regardless of how you grew up, regardless of religion, regardless of whatever your belief, regardless of orientation, regardless of all of that. Regardless. Or all of it. Do I have a miracle cure? It's not a miracle, but I do have a cure. And it takes every single one of us to do it. Every single one. Every single one of us has to look inside ourselves. And instead of seeing when somebody else is being grossly oversimplified over, over on, on something, if they're using gross overgeneralizations, they're being very stereotypical about something and not actually analyzing case by case. I lost my train of thought. Guess what? Why? People. But anyway, what I want to say is we all have to do our part on a case-by-case -case basis, individual basis, one-on-one, -on -one, to address these issues, to look at these matters, to face these facts, and understand that we do the same thing that we're blaming someone else for doing. Black people want to talk about white people and cops and this, but guess what? As black folks, we have our gross, uh, we have our oversimplification of other people. We have our gross generalizations of other people. We use it all the time. We call all cops crackers, but not all cops are crackers. Crackers used to be white, but you also use it for cops. So now if you have a black cop, he's still a cracker, right? Okay then, that's all I'm saying. Yes, it does simplify things. Yes, it makes it easier to avoid infiltration by having clear defined cut lines if you want to say, okay, no one, no person of such and such race is allowed into an organization or a function. 
Yes, it makes it easier to protect the authenticity of it. You cannot be infiltrated. But then again, you can still be infiltrated by your own kind. So now what about your own kind? Because you have a gross oversimplification of your own kind. Like, well, you know, these my brothers and my sisters, they ain't going to do nothing to me. And they'll be the same ones that'll be shooting you in the back of the head. Think how many times they used a black man to pull the trigger on another black man. I'm just saying. So. Okay. So all I really want to say, and this is just something that was on my mind while I was heading out over here, was that overgeneralizations, stereotypes, they don't work. You're led to believe that they work when you try to box everyone in and when you box everyone in, every time you find someone's like, yup, 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 I told you, yup, I told you. And they're like, oh, that one's the exception. That one's the exception. No, there's no, no, there's no such thing. Everybody's a different person. Everybody's a different person. Plain and simple. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm over here in Humble, Texas. I got another video I'm gonna do. It's talking about, nah, you'll just see when I put it up. Holla.